everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review and tutorial and swatches of the Pat McGrath Sublime Eyeshadow Palette and this is my third video that I've done using these palettes. So far I have two videos using the others. If you guys want to check those out, I will have them linked down below. But in her line there are three different palettes and this one is the really pretty warm toned green one. And as you guys know, the packaging for all of the palettes is different. This happens to be my favorite packaging because of the gold eye. I love this imagery. I think that is so cool. And I think Pat McGrath is just an amazing makeup artist and an amazing artist in general. But as you guys have seen in the other videos, she does have the same black packaging for all three of her palettes. Here are the eyeshadows. Of course, it's the 10 eyeshadows. And like the same organization of her other palettes, the highly reflective holographic eyeshadows are down at the end of the palette. And then the normal everyday type tone eyeshadows are towards the front. I feel like the standout shades of this palette definitely are the green and the gold and I feel like in the other palette there are colors that are similar to these two down here but if you're like me who's a collector I had the other two and it's only three then it just felt right to me to have the third one but I kind of only bought this palette just for the green and the gold eyeshadows here but as you guys know these eyeshadow palettes are sold on her website as well as on Sephora they retail for $125 they do have bundle deals but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches of this eyeshadow palette that way you guys can see each shade individually and I'm going to jump into the tutorial that I did on this look so I hope that you guys enjoy brush by MAC I'm going to take the color copper toned and I'm going to apply this as my transition color this is a really pretty shimmery neutral toned eyeshadow so just back and forth and this is going to help us blend out the rest of the colors that are going to be applied on our eyelid same brush now I'm dipping into the color iconic and right below the transition color, I'm going to now buff this color into the crease. So back and forth motions. Once again, same brush. And I'm going to take the color dark. I'm going to take this color right on my very outer corner. Slightly deepen up my outer V and blend it over. I'm going to take a little bit of this and blend it right on the very outer crease. But I'm not going to go too far in with that color. The majority of the color will be deposited. And then take whatever's left and slightly drag it over. Now I'm going to take my flat shader brush. This is a MAC 242 in the color Bronze 005. And I'm going to sweep this color on my lid. And then go back and pack it on. So it's extremely bold. I want this to basically look like foiled gold on my eyelid. And that's exactly what it's given me so far. So just take your time with this. And I'm not going to go above my crease. But right at the edge of where my crease color ends, I'm going to slightly tap this color next to it. So it's married to it and everything is blended and looks seamless. And then right on the edge, the dark eyeshadow, again, same thing. I'm going to lightly tap that edge so those colors are fused together. 
So once you have that applied, this is about what it should look like. So now I'm going to go in with the detailer brush and the color VR Nectar. I'm going to lightly pack that on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm packing that on the very inner tear duct. These shadows look amazing. So now I'm going to clean up the rest of my face, add a few more touches, and I'll be back. Going back with the same color VR Nectar and the same detailer brush, I'm now going to rim that along my lower inner corner. Now for the fun part, same detailer brush, I'm going to go in with the color Blitz Emerald. I'm going to trace that along the rest of my lower lash line. Ooh, that's so pigmented and beautiful. So this is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. Of course, I'm loving all of my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. Let me know if you guys are going to pick up any of the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes down in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Smooches! Bye!